Okay, Scorpio, I am doing what your what you need to know for the next 72 hour read. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, please do so. Um, you know, if you know, feel free. Um, I have the description. I have the link in the description box below. Also, I have another channel, uh, Starfight for the Universe. Um, go ahead. I have the description of what that's all about in the description box below. Go ahead and check that out as well. Okay. Um, these cards have been popping off like since I've I started your shuffle, your pre shuffle. So I just feel like there's a lot that needs to be discussed here. Apparently, doors are opening. You decide rewards and wild card. So. Let's see. We have transformation going on, staying grounded, coping with coping with addictions, and we have align your life. Okay. We have the star card under the deck. There's there's a lot of healing that needs to go on here, and I feel like time is of the essence because every time I switch decks to try to to try to pre-shuffle, cards just kept falling out of of every which way. And there's just a lot of, um, to me, that, that that's showing that there's a lot of distractions in your world right now, Scorpio, like in, coming from every which angle. But a lot of it has to do with you aligning your life because there's a lot of, there is a lot of stuff going on in the world in general. And with new earth coming, like you need to learn how to cope with these, with these different aspects of life and be able to, you know, keep yourself in balance because there's just, um, like I said, there's a lot going on. Let me let me look further into it. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords. Oof. The Nine of Cups and the Lovers. Okay, there's going to be some kind of truth co coming towards you. Or some kind of information coming, you, coming towards you like very quickly within the next couple days. About a wish fulfillment. And there's going to be a choice that has to be made based upon this. Um, a choice maybe between people, between a situation, whether to be single or not. With the with the nine of pentacles, it could be it could have to do with work. Um, it could be like um, breaking away from a company to do your own to do your own thing. But there's juggling um, here, um, a lot of options. And if it is a person, you could be um, you could be dealing with another water sign, but. If this is you, uh, Scorpio, with the Queen of Cups here, like you're juggling your options, and you know that because you know that you're an, you're a pre empress, you know that like you have you have your entrepreneur skills to to be single and move forward with this, and it doesn't have to be um, you know gender specific. Entrepreneur sense is entrepreneur sense, male or female. If you know that you're doing it, and you you could break away from your, you know, from your place of establishment, then you you know weigh out your options correctly is what i'm getting here because there's going to be a a sporadic message of justice coming very soon could be dealing with the libra but it's it's gonna go in your favor but you just got to make sure that you're um the thing is it's funny because with this with this um two of coins he's really happy with the options that he that he's juggling you know so like to me, it's like, yeah, like, no matter what you decide, you're getting justice in this situation. Yeah, because you're ending a cycle here with cycles under the deck. Possibly a karmic cycle, and you're just getting your blessings. Yeah, you're getting your freedom. Live wild and free. Choose your freedom. Claim your independence. That's why you got the Nine of Pentacles right here. And then you have Beloved. Prepare your prepare for your life partner. Romance is returning to, to your relationship. Believe you are lovable. Wow. Okay, so it looks like with the two, an abundance. Damn, Gina. Scorpio. You're you're getting the triple threat, dude. You're getting freedom, abundance, and you're getting the love of your life. Can you can you ask for anything more? Just have courage. Just have courage. Courage, patience, and strength because your leadership is going to be required soon. Like there's but the, the damn that's a happy ending if I ever seen one. Let me see. <laughs> There's nothing sexier than my authentic truth. That's so funny because it, that one was at the bottom of the deck. And I was just like, let me just shuffle anyway. When I lean on the 
faith of the universe, peace becomes real, and my happiness is a direct reflection of the level of faith in the universe, of my level of faith in the universe. Scorpio, you've been aligned with the universe forever. For Oh, did you hear the siren in the back? That's so crazy. Like, you've been in alignment for for some time now. Like, it's it's time for you to reap your blessings. This is what it is. If you have your Scorpio and in, uh, in, in, if you have your fortune in Scorpio, like this is definitely you, you, um, being able to reap your benefits from the most high. Go ahead and check your chart, you know, for all of that information. Obstacles are detours in the right direction. Yeah, you know, you know, you know that all of this was meant to be because you've always had faith in the universe that what was, what was meant to be, whatever is yours will, will never pass you by. And, because of that, that's why you're getting, you know, you're possibly, you know, some of you guys could be coming into union with your twin. You know, some of you guys could be actually um, getting freedom from your twin to actually go and pursue an actual loving relationship. Um, all right, Scorpio. That was a beautiful read. And I'll see you guys in March for the March reads.